So hi guys, welcome again to Boosty Academy. I have a request video I want to do this morning and apologies for not being online for quite uh, for some time now. I've been extremely busy and uh, I have a lot of requests on my email. So but to start with, we have question on finding areas of shape, which is kind of common nowadays. I don't know where students are coming across for this type of question, but that's notwithstanding. We should be able to deal with it and see how you can uh, actually solve them without wasting time. So on the other hand, if you are also a student and you are trying to learn concept on all these and many other science related topics, you can consider subscribing to the channel and uh, learn more on how things are being done in an easier way. So we are going to look into this now and uh, I believe the method I'm going to use to solve I have actually believe you have a uh, pre-knowledge of uh, solving triangles and uh, stuff like this. If you don't have, you still need to watch some concept video related to them. So I start. To begin with now, we start with the question says, find the area, let's note this, of the yellow. This is yellow, yellow submarine. So if we want to get yellow submarine, what we need to do is just understand this whole thing. This is a right angle triangle, no doubt about that. This is a small square and this is another small square. So what I just need to do is just understand the concept of square. Now the area of a square is uh, L square. All sides of a square are equal. So if these all sides are equal, so let me call this side, uh, this side Y. I call this side Y side. You know it's between that. This is Y side. And as you can see, that is Y side. And I'm going to call this big square, I'm going to call the side of this side as X. I'm just calling it according to what I want. You can pick any alphabet. So from what we know, we know that, uh, let's say the area of this uh, small square, I'll say it has area is uh, A1, and area of the big square is uh, A2. As you can see, this is A2. Now, what I would just want to do here is just to understand that in between it, there is something like a right angle triangle. It's just right angle. You know what it means. So from what I've just explained here, the vertical dimension is y, the horizontal dimension is uh, x, you can see, and this is x. So from what you have learned in your basic classes, what you've learned in your basic classes, that uh, when you have uh, a right angle triangle, there is always this thing we call Pythagoras theorem. So I'm going to apply that one here, using Pythagoras theorem. But before doing that, just give me a minute to remove my, let me remove that cable and put it back. It's like just remove and put, thank you very much. So. Uh, I'm going to use the application of Pythagoras theorem to solve this. It's a simple question. I can, I can see that uh, the answer to this thing would be 9. But how did I see that? Those are things that students will ask me. The knowledge of what I know here is that the area of all the yellow here will be area of A1 plus area of A2. Are those not the yellow squares? Those are the yellow squares. What is the area of A1? Area of A square is length times length. I took the dimension to be y. What is y times y? y squared. If I come to A2, what will be the area of the second square? X times X. What is X times X? X squared. So the total area of the yellow, whatever, yellow submarine, the way I call it, will be A1 plus A2, and that is Y squared plus X squared. I hope you didn't get that. So exactly, let me see if I have a back on track. Now, from here, I can say, from the area of A1, solution now, thank you very much, is now equals to, it's still lagging, but I will manage it, no time, is equals to, as you can see, Area of a square is a y square. Then the second one, a2, area of a2, that is length times length. I'm doing length times x times x and x squared. So the total area of the submarine, the yellow submarine now, let me change to red. And uh, we are going to have uh, total area, of, you can now say yellow area. I'm supposed to use a yellow color. Yellow area is equals to the sum total of the small one and the big one as uh, y squared plus x squared, or you say x squared plus y squared. I think I'm just doing one question for this video because I cannot be managing myself like this. So now the next thing I'm supposed to do here is to now come to the middle. You can see the middle triangle can give me x squared plus y squared from Pythagoras theorem. This is the longest side, as you can see. The longest side is three centimeters. So from here, using Pythagoras theorem at the middle, I can see that uh, this guy, let's go to blue, this is lagging and I don't know why it is doing that, but all the same. So from the middle side, I can say from Pythagoras theorem, therefore, from Pythagoras theorem, 
on the middle, I can say x squared plus y squared is equal to 3 squared. So that's been that. I've done Pythagoras theory. I've done Pythagoras x squared, y squared equals to 3 squared. Longest side equals to the sum of the squares of the two other sides. What am I looking for? x squared plus y squared. So what is x squared plus y squared? 3 squared. So everybody knows 3 squared will be equals to 9. So question answer is 9. This is the right answer to this. And I think because this thing is lagging, I still have one more question to do, but I cannot be managing. But uh, hopefully, if it's going to work, I'm going to finish it. If it's not going to work, I'm going to stop whenever I'm tired of doing anything. So I mean, give me one more question. Let's see how it goes. So answer to that is now. Thank you very much. So this is another one, another request video, which, like I said, most of the questions I'm seeing nowadays are based on this thing. But all the all things be equal. I don't think this one should always also be a problem. But the only problem about all these type of questions are that I think most of the students sending this to me are those ones that are on the platform, maybe in a group or something like that, whereby they see questions, they don't understand how it is being solved. And in normal Nigeria curriculum, if you want to solve this kind of question, a lot of information will be given, which you should know. That, for example, you can be given that this side is a square, this side is a triangle. You need to know all these things. That is just the fact about it. But if you are doing mathematics with impaired and all those stuff, in which you are just given a shape, you are supposed to take the shape as a square. You can see. So, because it's a square, all sides of a square are equal, just like what we did. Area of a square is L square. So, I won't waste your time. What I'll just do here now is that I always tell students, look at these guys. This is also a square. So maybe I should just, that's why I said, if this thing is not like this, I'm not going to solve. I call this guy A, B, C, D. You can see that this is something like what? A square, too. Or a rectangle because it's 12 by 6. Can you see it's 12 by 6? ABC is a rectangle. In it, this side was coming here. There's a line. You call it a length of diagonal. So, the, what I'm trying to say is that area of this one, if I call this one area A1, is also equal to area of this one because if you draw a diagonal inside the square of a rectangle, the areas are the same. So, they have the same area. So, what I'll just do here is that this guy here. I'll call this guy I'm looking for A2. So what I want to just do is I'm looking for the area of what A2. So how will I solve this? I think the best way I'm thinking now because it's no way of practice. There are different methods or methodology you can actually use here. I think the fastest one for you guys to understand is let me bring a perpendicular line between this particular side and this side. So let me come to this square. Diagram is not drawn to scale. That's always been the problem. So let me call the size of the square A. So all sides of a square are equal, everybody knows that. Can you see the square? Let me say A, B, C, D, then E and F. So I'm saying A, C, D, F is a square, according to the question. All sides of a square are equal. So having done that, the next thing is, let me bring a severe line, a line, a line to the stuff. I want to bring a line. If I bring a line from here to, bring, to have a height to come from here, see, see what I'm doing? Just for understanding sake, I hope you can see that. I hope this is visible enough. Yes. So the line is not passing through where I want. And because it's not passing through, I want it to be the height of the two triangles. So please, you have to watch. We all learn everything here. Nobody bring it from heaven. Like I do say, all these things, all these concepts have been. So can you see triangle A1, triangle A2? So I'm having height of this guy. Let me call it height H1. And height of this guy, let me call it height H2. If you are a good mathematician, you can see that the H1 plus H2 is the same thing as what? A. Because here from here is A. Here to here is also what? A. Because there's a dimension inside. So the first thing I'm going to write here for the solution case is, I think this one is going to take my some of my stuff. So I can say solution. I think this thing is back. Maybe my mate, they've done something to it. Good job. So I can say from here, Basically, I can say H1 plus H2 is equals to A. Take it? Good. So, that's the first thing. Then, I want to consider these uh, small, small triangles. Everybody know the area of triangle from junior classes is half base times height. So, I'll use that one to break all these things down. So, the first triangle, just watch the way I'll break it down. I'm taking this triangle. Where is the base? The base is A. Where is the height? H1. The second triangle. Where is the base? I'm showing you. This is the base. Where is the height? 
So I'm taking this triangle and this tri triangle. So just note that you don't need to panic. I know everybody can see this right angle triangle to get the value of A. Yes, I can see it too. I am still coming there. Just relax yourself. Now, having said that, I want to go into that side by saying area of the first triangle A1 now, area of triangle A1. Now I have A1, A2. And I said something that this A, this A1 is also A1. Why? Why are they A1? It is because they are being drawn out from the same, from the same rectangle. So the, you can see the rectangle, rectangle E, B, C, D. Then there's a line, diagonal line, that is bisecting it into two. Not equal half, but it makes the area to be the, the same. That's just the logic or the concept, <laughs> the way I used to call it. Time is not on my side. Apologies. Now, here, I have to finish up. And I don't want to fuck up. You know, I understand myself. You won't understand. Only people that are even the what I'm trying to say. I don't want to what, touch wires here. Now, here, I can say categorically or simply by saying area of the first triangle, A1. A1 is half base times I. Just watch half. What is the base? The base of the triangle. This is the base. This is the height. Triangle ABD. Can you see A, B, D? The base is A, the height is H1. So I have A times H1. A2, there. I'm talking about triangle B, E, F. Please watch. Triangle B, E, F. B, E, F is our. Uh, the base is also A, the height is H, H2. Everybody knows triangle. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I only understand myself and the people here. It's half, half base. The base is A. And the height here is uh, H2. So why am I doing this? It's because I know that the area of the shaded portion will be the area of all this shape plus or minus the area of this uh, smaller side. Like the area of the whole shape minus this one. is like cutting the whole square and cutting this part of triangle away from it. I'll get that or that part. That's what I'm trying to work towards. So because you should always understand the logic of a teacher. If you have this boss and they ask you to cut this area out, what are you going to do? The whole boss, the whole boss here from A E D F minus this side will give you the remaining part. So I need that remaining part. So that means I must get the area of this guy and get the area of the whole whole figure, whole square. Then I subtract it from each other. That is the tendency of doing this. So and I know the area of this A E this is the area of a square, which is A times A, which is A squared. So I'm working towards getting A squared. That's where I'm going. Then you can also say, okay, why can't why am I disturbing myself? Why can't I just say uh, I can get A from this guy by using this is our Pythagoras theorem? Yes, I can get A. Yes, by saying 12 square plus is which I'm still going to use very soon. You are going to see the way I'm going to do that because I will use this particular one to get the area of this triangle, then I'll get the total A squared. So let's do something. So to make it faster, there are a lot of ways you can solve this. So now from here. If I now want to get h1 plus h2, which is the total length of the, you know, we say h1 plus h2 equals to a. So I can say h1 plus h2 here, I can add these two together, will be, I can say h1 plus h2 will now be equals to, I say h1 plus h2, a1 plus h2, a2, the two, I'm trying to do something. Yes, so let's add these two guys together. Don't be afraid, there's nothing in mind. If you add these two guys together, you are going to have half, I'm bringing what is common, A is common, open bracket, I'm adding these two guys together, A1 plus A2, then it will be H1 plus H2. Why am I adding? I'm adding because I want to get the total dimension. What is H1 plus H2 from both of them? H1 plus H2 is equals to A. So I can say this is the same thing as half times A times, guys, what is H1 plus H2? This is also A. What is a times a? That is a squared. So that is a squared over 2. That means a1 plus a2, the total area, is equals to a squared over, over 2. I hope students can see that. So now, where is a1 plus a2? You students can see. That is the total area of this guy. The total area from here, 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 all these things. You can see this a1, a2. So the total area of the two guys is. A square by two. So the next thing I just need to do is just to get the area of uh, this side. If I can get the area of this side, and it's so simple. Like I said, area of a triangle is half base times height. You can see A, B, C, B, A, C, D. 
half base times that. So let's get the area of A1. I can do that directly. Everybody can see that. So I can say, therefore, area of A1 is half base times height. So half times, what is the base? 6 times, what is the height? 12. Everybody know 2 year 1, 2 threes are 6. 3 times 12 are 36. So area of A1 is 36. So A1 area here is 36. That's the first thing. So I know A1 to be 36. So A2, which is this sign, I'm looking for A2. So that means the, the total area is A square over 2. So if I can get the value of A square over 2, I can easily get what A2 from this equation that I've actually summed up. So what I'll do now here, guys, is to finish with this now, I want to do some kind of simple magic. What is that simple math? So I need to get the value of a square, which is kind of simple. How can I get a square? Guys, you can see this is Pythagoras theorem. This is a. Look at still the same triangle. So I want to get a square. If I need a square, a square, that's the name of one of my students or one of my guys there on uh, WhatsApp. A square. So now to get a square from here, Pythagoras theorem. This is the hypotenuse. These are the opposite and uh, adjacent. You can see from this a c d. You can say a square is equals to, I hope students are saying this, 12 squared plus 6 squared. What have I done? Pythagoras theorem. 12 squared plus 6 squared will give me, I say AD squared equals to AC squared plus CD squared. That's what I did there. So from directly, I can say A squared equals to, this is 12 squares and 144. 6 squares are 36. 144 plus 36 is a 180. I hope I didn't make a mistake. I better not because this is what I'm doing here, 144 plus 36 is 180. So guys, I know the value of a square. a square is 180. So a square over 2 will now be 180 over 2. So directly, I can get my answer, which I would love to do in green ink. So if I pick green marker now to finalize my answer. So now from this equation I've set, a1 plus a2 is equals to a square over, over 2. Now, guys, let's do it. What is a1? 36 plus I'm looking for a2 is now equals to we have a uh, this is a uh, a square which is a uh, a square answer is a uh, 180 180 over 2 is a uh, 90 how to get that a square is 180 180 divided by 2 will give me 90 so if I go by that what I'm going to have here is a uh, a2 answer I hope this is not cutting is equals to 90 minus 36. 90 minus 36 would give me what I need. I think that's a, is a 64 or 54. 54 centimeters square, whatever is the dimension of this. So that is the logic, is just to know the other ways in which I can do this. I think this is kind of very direct. I try to get the total area of this thing by calling it a1 plus a2. So I did that in terms of equation to make it a square over 2. So I'm thank God I was able to get the value of a square to be 180. 180 over 2 is uh, 90, so I'm looking for a 2 side, which gives me 54. So that is where I'm going to stop in this video. If you find anything interesting, like I do say, you can always consider to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon in future videos. Have a wonderful time. Bye for now.